Some of me? Sir. <laughs> Please, I gotta talk to the people, man. I gotta talk to the people. I have to talk to the people. The people who watch us on the internet. <gasps> Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Look at you and your Clark Kent glasses. You know how many people have asked over <laughs> the course of like seven years for you I to wear hate, glasses on I camera? My, no, I don't like my glasses. I don't like wearing glasses. It feels like it's disorienting when I wear glasses. Well, you feels, look good. It feels weird. Yeah, you look like Superman. Contacts have been giving me hell because allergies are really bad right now. So. No, you look really good. For... Welcome back to the vlogs, I guess. I guess that's what this is, a sort of a relaunch like a soft uh, a soft launch soft launch soft opening soft relaunch yes. however you want to put it i don't know um life update i guess i guess update um we're breaking up no. shut <laughs> up <laughs> could you imagine people would be fucking pissed and you make people me you so make me fun too. they probably are really bad about that right this second so never mind that was a joke that, no i'm not doing that to, to be perfectly honest like i was very ready to end these videos i was ready to end this channel put this chapter behind us. I don't know, I just, I, I, I guess I had in the past year, in the past couple months, um, some sort of something in me that was like, well, who cares, you know? Why are you doing this? There's no point. So I got real close to like just ending the channel and deleting the vlogs and stuff like that, but um, I, I still get messages. We still get messages and comments on our videos and messages in the DMs and we even get like emails, you know? There's still people who email. Um, and they've sent us some really kind, you know, messages of encouragement asking where we are and saying that they missed the videos. And there was one, do you remember the one I sent you? Um, it was of the guy who said that he's older and doesn't know how many more years he's got. And this could have, he could have like totally been joking too. But yeah. it just like it got to me. He's like, I don't know how many years, you know, I've got. And so please don't, um, leave it, it. Don't go too far between videos, you know? Put them out a little bit closer together. closer together. And that one really hit me too. I was like, you know, there are people who care. I think sometimes you just get down on yourself and, you know, and start feeling like you're just kind of floating through life and, you know, you're not really putting anything out of substance. And um, I think that's very much what, what I hit. But I do want to keep documenting my life because I, I, I have to remember that seven years ago I started doing this and it was very important to me. And I'm so happy that I did start it because I have seven years of memories to look back on, you know? Um, and and I wanna continue that. I don't know, all that being said, I, I'm, I, I'm ready to make the return, you know? I'm ready for us to start putting out these videos um, regularly, like three a month at least. And so I think this will be the first of that. I didn't really have like a plan for this one. We kind of just like sat down and... <laughs> Yeah, you, you just came and started filming. <laughs> I guess. I, it's, uh, but I want, I, want, I want to start, yeah. I want to catch y'all up. Because we, we've, you know, we've had stuff going on in the last few months. And I want to catch everybody up on what's going on. And So we're going to start that. Videos are going to start being regular again. I need to start filming again. It's like incredibly therapeutic when I do. Um, and just sharing our lives with you. I want to get back into sharing our lives again. I think that was a really big positive when we did do it as much as we did, you know. I think we both felt really positive about it. Hmm. Agreed. Yeah, so that's kind of the point. Um, this one is probably not going to be anything. It's, uh, I didn't ever put our New York trip out, and I really wanted to, but I always felt like, oh, well, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't have enough shots to, like, put a big narrative together, you know. Um, I, I, I don't really have enough footage to to make a, like an actual episode out of. And so, I don't, <laughs> but I'm gonna put the video out anyway, and it's just gonna be like home videos of our New York trip that we took in January, you know, so. Perfect. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll just be it, you know. And then we just keep filming, and we start putting things together, and we start sharing our lives with everybody again. And so, um, it's been a while. I feel like there's been a little bit of a disconnect between us and y'all, and it's time to it's time to connect again. And I'm real excited to do that. I'm real excited to let you guys back in, share all the things we've had going on lately. So, well, before I play this New York vlog, um, 
We are going to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for the episode, Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep is our longtime collaborator, so it should be no surprise that we have some stuff to tell you all about Helix Sleep. Um, Helix Sleep is currently having a Memorial Day sale from May 15th to June 4th. For a limited time, you can get 25% off of your purchase. It's a perfect time to go get a new mattress. This is probably the one we've had the longest ride because we got, we got the queen size first in July of 2020. Um, and this one has held up. I think we've been sleeping on this one more than... <laughs> More than the king's us at this point. I don't know. We like the I like the feng shui of this room, so we stay in here a lot. But I know you're wanting to go back to the king's us because Brando is. <laughs> He's a lot. Up a lot of room. With, with uh, both you and Brando in bed, I only get like twelve inches. Oh, uh, whatever. So this mattress is almost three years by now, and it's still as firm and as soft because it's like medium, right? Um, so it's like got a medium like firmness, good balance rod. Top of it is held up really nicely. It's not pulling, it's not stretching too far, you know, it's just kind of, it's not, not sagging, which is what I really hate about mattresses. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your unique needs. Everybody's different, right? Well, Helix has this sleep quiz that'll match you with the perfect mattress. And it was perfect for us because we could take the quiz as a couple. You know, Alistair is more of a side sleeper. I'm an all over sleeper. Alistair likes a firm mattress. I like my mattress medium. We took the quiz and we were matched with the Midnight Mattress. Now, one great part to all this is that Helix will ship your mattress right to your door for free in the US. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up and we've done it twice. And if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, well, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so you get more than three months to make sure that you absolutely love it. Again, if you are looking for a new mattress, this is the time to get a new one. If you are somebody you know is in the market for a new mattress, if your mattress is sinking, your ass is on the floor because it's like quicksand, then it, it's time to get a new mattress, right? Invest in your sleep. Go to helixsleep.com slash Zach and B where you can get 25% off of your purchase plus two free pillows during the Memorial Day sale. It's running now for a limited time. Take the sleep quiz. See which, which one would work perfect for you. And, uh... Yeah, again, you deserve to have some good sleep, good night's sleep. Helix is perfect for that. Zachary, show people how you are. How I am. Yes, show them. I want everybody to know this is how my husband showers. Like a shower bath. This is the most comfortable way to take a shower. So, is that your your uh, expert uh, expert opinion? On taking showers? Yes. Yes. When you sit down, you can do a lot more thinking and just let the water run over you. It looks like you've been crying. Maybe I have. At what? I'm Why? sad. But what? I don't want to get stabbed. In New York? <laughs> You're not going to get stabbed in New York. I keep seeing on the news that everybody gets stabbed in New York or gets like attacked with hammers or no. like gets pushed on the subway tracks. What no. if I get pushed on the subway tracks? Then then you will die. We're going for my friend Ian's birthday. Otherwise, I wouldn't be stepping foot in New York. What is this, your fourth time? Mm. I don't know. Is too that many times for me. You're going to be a New Yorker. Dude, I'm not going to be no New Yorker. I tell you that much right be now. New Yorker. I'm not gonna be. We're gonna live next to San Francisco. I'm not gonna Parker. be no fucking New Yorker. No, don't think so. I do want to see Sarah Jessica Parker, though. We're gonna go see her. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna see Carrie Bradshaw's um, stoop. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I ain't I haven't seen nobody get get stabbed on her stoop. Let's give us the room tour. Here are the curtains okay. that you have in the room. <laughs> They're different than most curtains. And oh. we have an excellent view right here to so, other people's apartments. You're not impressed with this view. I think it's pretty cool. We're on the 15th floor. Um, I can kind of look out. It is a suicide window, so you... It's an anti-suicide window. Anti -suicide oh, it's not. window, so they won't let you commit suicide on it. That's pretty good, you know? Um, what else? Okay, so in here? Here is a bed. Is this king size? Yeah. Uh, it is king size. I look at a little mini fridge. What are those? Uh, know, water? Probably 20 dollars. We don't have a mini bar? bar? Where's your mini bar? Do we not? 
No, but we do have the Book of Mormon. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't realize it was glass again. I'm having flashbacks. Oh, how am I supposed to get in this, Alistair? For context, about two years ago when you were deployed um, and I was staying with my mom, um, I was staying with them for a couple months. It was right after Bronson died. And they had a glass shower door just like this, with a little handle just like that. And I was taking a shower in there, and I like to sit down when I take showers sometimes to let the water just run over me. And I reached up and grabbed the handle, and the entire glass door shattered all over me. And I was just laying there in the tub, glass all over me. Everybody was at work except for my sister, because my sister was living there. And so my sister, I, so I was just laying there, all, and I saw blood running down in the tub. And I was like, oh shit. And so I started calling out. I was like, and I don't know what I expected her to do, but I called out. I was like, Aaron, Aaron. And mind you, the bathroom wall shared the wall with her bedroom. So I know her ass heard me. So Aaron, help. And I heard her music stop. And it was quiet for a moment. And then I heard her bedroom door open. I thought she was going to come knock on the bathroom door and see if I needed help. And then I heard silence. Heard a few footsteps, and then I heard the front door open and close. Her ass heard me calling for help and Ugh. left. <laughs> <laughs> she gets real pissed whenever I talk about that story. She said that is not what happened. She said she did not hear me, and she absolutely did. And so I'm just laying there covered in glass shards. Had to, like, get up my naked ass and kind of, like, walk over. Had cuts all over my legs and feet. And... And so you get me a glass shower door. I'm real excited to be here, you know? We have not been in New York since. Your graduation, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. we haven't been back. Um, so for at least 20 years. So I'm very excited, feeling very hopeful. When I left New York the last time, baby, I have to admit, I did not see the appeal. I was like, it smells like piss here. It's not, you, you can't do anything. You have to walk everywhere. Um, it's tiring. Now I'm filled, I'm filled with hope and excitement. I'm real excited to be to explore the city and go out and do things. I think it helps that we have friends here and that we're going to go and hang out with people and we have actual like. You know, I have friends here too, Zachary. Alistair, how many of your friends have you hooked up with? Yeah, we're... <laughs> How many of your friends have you hooked up with? I think that you're you're seeing the wrong side of things. Okay. Well, it's been a long time. Then I'm gonna invite all of the guys, all the guys I had sex with. I'm gonna invite to dinner, and we're gonna have a dinner with all of them. No. I think the only thing that I'm just like, eh, still, I'm still not, you know, not feeling is the uh, the the driving situation. It was real stressful getting over here. We had a we had a, a taxi driver. Yeah, I was from the airport. One, it was very expensive. And two, I had to look down at my phone the entire time because it was just stressing me out. He was like coming this close to bumper to bumper. It's how my dead drives? Too much. It, it is how your dead drives. Oh, this bed is big enough for you and me and all of your New York friends to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably get off the sheets. I feel gross. Do you feel gross? Yeah. I, I do need a, a shower. I need a Wash up before we go see people with tonight. So we are about to go out to dinner. We have a few hours. We're going to go to dinner um, with a couple friends. My buddy Ian, who I do my bloody Judy with. Uh, my friend Adam. He's been in a video before. Adam's boyfriend. And um, I think Ian's bringing somebody. And then Troy. And you guys know Troy. So it's going to be fun. We're going to Empanada Mama. I've, I've never been there, but apparently everybody, every, everyone I brought it up to, they're, they're all like, Empanada Mama. Hell yeah! Except they actually enunciated it. No. I, I can't do it, sir. Empanada. Empanada. Oh. Oh, Sony! It's it's here. Here. There it is. It's 2005. <laughs> it is my space. So it's a camera right? photo on memory. It's pretty cool. You want to see? Look. That's cool. That gives a vibe. Look at that. We all remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. does it come so a memory stick? Oh, it's so good. It looks so Sony good. Uh, you step one, you've turned it on. Oh, yeah, me too. Step two, open the lid. Talk video. <laughs> I'm like zooming in and out. That's the reason. <laughs> 
Wait. I went to Texas for the first time. Whoa. What is this thing? We, we are all of this age. You should, we, all of us should, we should know how I to feel do attacked it. right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, I knew it. So <laughs> I was looking for a book. Record a video. Alright, here we go. So it's got to be this, right? Yes, we're recording. Hey. You alright, babes? You alright, babes, in it? In it? <laughs> He's been fucking me off. He's been mugging you off. I look like a bell end. <laughs> I don't fucking fix it. It's like White Lord of Season 2. Do you know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> what a little pork in a pork line, eh? <laughs> what did you just say? It's my favourite Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. My one friend looks so well who's I love her and she's insane and she like helped me plan with me. She would always have Adderall and I remember to hang over and she would like hang out Adderall when we were drinking. And I never really noticed Woo Woo doing much. But I wouldn't have to do this. I'm feeling you. I'll never be right now. Oh he left. Oh my god! Let me try it again. Let me try it again. <laughs> sorry, Andy. Do it again. Do it again. Sorry, Andy. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 While we're traveling to a birthday dinner. How do you feel being in the city? How are you liking it so far? I love it. Do you? Yeah. You feel at home here? I do, I do. Uh, I can't wait for uh, us to move here. <laughs> to move here? I don't yeah. think that's going to happen. We're on our way to our, our good friend, Ian Carlos Crawford, who's having a birthday party at Stonewall tonight. But before that, he's having a dinner at Jack's wife, Frida. It's a restaurant I've never been to, never heard of. We are taking the sub. Anxiety when I had to bring my nightgown out to the bars. So I was like, <laughs> last night I was like, what if someone spills? Happy birthday, Ian. Thank you, Zachary. Now, in 40 years, what is the biggest thing you learned? Uh, so Buffy will always be my favorite thing. Okay. I did. I did like. I just got a tattoo of it, and I really was like, mm, "Don't get a fandom tattoo. You're my outro." I, I, I'm not outgrowing it at this point. I'm forty. Yeah. Um, not to be such a prude, and uh, to do drugs when you feel like it. And from this point, what is the biggest thing you want to accomplish? And like, I would like to monetize. So your fascinating idea, my buddy Judy. That is I such would, like a little small thing. I, would, I want them, no, I yeah. want them to be like, I make money and I don't have to. Okay. <laughs> I want to bring that to Yes. I want to like not have a big Okay. That's what I would like to happen. I've talked to so many people that like do, like even if it's not a lot, they like make enough. That they, yeah. That's, that's all I'm asking. Like enough where it's like. Now that's what you can focus on. That's what you give your attention and time to. For money. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Ian, and uh, let this be the best year yet. Thank you. <laughs> so the Stonewall, Stonewall, we've never been to the Stonewall, we have not been to the Stonewall, so very first time. The historic yes. bar. I've thrown up in every bathroom here. Oh, good. Uh, I think I've up with someone in every room here. Actually, on this couch. Oh, oh. <laughs> I see it right there. Yeah, right there. Happy birthday, Ian. When you watch this and you're sober and you don't remember that you went out, <laughs> remember that, like, Wanda is the best Marvel show. And. Okay, you don't like Multiverse of Madness, but we do agree that Wanda was the best part. Ian. <laughs> 
and X-Men is coming back this year, so that's one good thing yeah, about your 40th. You're getting yeah. X-Men back this year. And Agatha. And Agatha. And Agatha. And Agatha. So, All right. Cheers, cheers to Drake. So what is your name? Yeah. Ian. Everybody say hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. Today is your 40th birthday. you later but I'm not doing that I, because I do tequila because I be, because I'm a Latino she's a Latino she's a Latino white woman white woman Latino man yes I, I love how all your friends are yelling at me what race you are I feel like that in, like that in itself is racist but I, I will do a drink with you so everybody on the count of three I don't want you to sing we're not going to go into pitch perfect I know you don't have a harmony your vocal cords are a little fucked up after doing anal I know you can't you can sing full set until the third movie. I got you. Did anybody get that joke? One person. He saw Pitch Perfect 1, 2, 3. All right. On the count of three. Happy birthday. What's your name again? Ian. Great. One, two, three. Happy birthday, You would think this place is a gay place because it's called the Flying Cock. And I was telling people, well, like, hey, where are you going to go in New York? And I was like, uh, the, uh, I said, for brunch, we're going to the Flying Cock. And they looked at me like, <laughs> I was like, no. It's, yeah, it's not a gay it's place. Not, no, no. It sounds gay. It sounds really gay. It's acting like big dicks to knock you on the wall. Well, and because he was just, gay in the office, so they would think that you wouldn't be going to a place called the Flying Cock. Right, did you only bring those things? Yes. Zach, what are these things? I think I can do more. I was thinking oh loops are good for the road. Oh. Cobbles don't sure you see. Oh. oh. <laughs> only if they're comfortable. I'm very up so far. Okay, my calves hurt, the balls of my feet hurt, the tip toes hurt. <laughs> That's that hungover eating. I'm such a good boy. <laughs> yeah, like mop the corners of his mouth as well. <laughs> Zachary Patton Garcia, hailing a cab for the first time in New York City. Yeah, I need a cab though. I guess that. Yeah, just put out your hand. So, uh, watch for the lights on the on the top. If it for the lights on the top, watch for it. No. See one right there, though. I have my eye on it. Yes, but but it's not available. Why? Uh, you have to have a look at the light on the top. If there's a light on the top where the numbers are, uh, then it's available. Really? Yeah. What about this one? <laughs> oh, but am I? Okay. Actually, that's a selfie. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Oh, I did it. You did it, babe. We did it. Ready? Goodbye, guys. Hey, here, here's that. Here's that. I'm gonna so we I'm are going to um, do that. <laughs> Troy. Am I recording still? Are you the face? Did you make him record? I give him to you. Hi. We are currently on our way to the Sex in the City tour. Yes. Um, apparently in New York you need to be an hour early to everything. Head out about an hour and a half early to everything. Um, yeah. SJP, we're waiting on you. Alright. Sex checks. These are sex checks. That's it. Can write. <laughs> 
sexual favors to each other. And I will cash them in. Cash them. <laughs> cash them all. Like we're going to get. Book. Because you have to. Because we're tourists. Mm -hmm. This is tourist. No. The rabbit. Oh, and sex checks. That's what we're going to do. There. I'm dying. That is her steep. <laughs> I'm having the biggest heart attack I've ever seen over there right now. Yeah. Smoke a sec. I, I fucking wish I had. <laughs> I have to vape instead. That counts. I'm the 20. That's modern Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> yeah. This is actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is cool. This is a moment. This is, a, this is iconic. This is it. This is like. This is it. Okay. And this was the moment. I knew I was gonna have to eat my words on New York City. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs>